Hello everybody and welcome to the show. If you remember a couple days ago, the day before Thanksgiving, I actually went to 7-Eleven and checked out their Thanksgiving sub and I gave it a review and this is how it went. Wow, that tastes good. I'm gonna give it a 8.6. We are definitely gonna try to make it better and show 7-Eleven how you do it. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna start off with some Pepperidge Farms Farmhouse Hearty White Bread leftovers. We have stuffing, mashed potatoes, gravy, turkey, cheese, and mayo. So we're gonna start off by spreading the mayo on those beautiful thick slices of bread. Look how nice those are. And we're gonna use these just like if we were putting butter down, making a grilled cheese sandwich. Uh, mayo is a go-to for me with grilled cheese. If you've never tried it, give it a shot. Do it on both sides. Uh, and then it's just like you're making a grilled cheese. So you're basically gonna flip that bread around, get it toasted nice and evenly on both sides. You can see here the insides getting a little bit done quicker than the outside. So I flip them around and there's a little griddle management. No worries. So flip them around, get them going and move them off to the side once they are done. Put down some oil and we are going to spread that out and start heating up our turkey. I got about a half a pound there. I've got white turkey, I've got dark turkey. I prefer dark, but I decided to mix it up a little bit there. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you like what you see, and if you watch the video and you like it and you wanna come back, make sure you hit that notification bell for uh, notifications of future videos. So you just wanna heat up that turkey all the way through. It's already cooked, obviously. We're just kinda of heating it up. You do not want it to dry out. So literally like 30 seconds, just kind of mix it around. I put a little bit of oil in there and uh, just get it heated all the way through, just like so. You can hear it sizzling. I have it on like a medium heat. And then we're gonna add our cheddar cheese, all right? <laughs> Two reasons, one, cheese is awesome. Two, the cheese is gonna bind all that turkey together. So when we put it on the sandwich, it doesn't like roll all over the place. That's it. So, but mainly because cheese, cheese is awesome. Let's be real. So we move it out of the way and we are going to add our next topping for our sandwich, which is going to be mashed potatoes. It's about two tablespoons. This is not an exact recipe. I just kind of made this up. And about another two tablespoons of stuffing so once we get that stuffing and the mashed potatoes you just want to kind of dice it up make it like I don't know <laughs> uh, not so chunky because we are going to put this together and kind of form like a potato pancake almost but with stuffing as well so I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, oil here as well just to kind of kind of lube it up and get it all happy and then just mash it down a little bit and that's it. And the key here, just like with any potatoes, like is leave it alone. So turkey, that cheese is melted. I get it out of the way. There you go. Here's me trying to flip this uh, potato pancake. And of course I mess it up because I do not leave it alone. Again, key, leave it alone. So I would let that potato pancake sit there for at least four or five minutes uh, just chilling out I should have put that on first actually now that I think about it but I didn't no worries so after it sets up a little bit more I flip it again you can see you kind of want it a little dark just like that that's the crispy factor and that's what I was going for I was thinking crispy potatoes crispy um, uh, stuffing you know how, you know how when you cook stuffing in a bird it like gets really crispy on the outside that's what I was going for so let's build our sandwich we've got our mayo down on the bottom I know we already put mayo but we're putting more turkey is ready put it right on top looking beautiful look at that see how that cheese holds out all that turkey together just like that looks awesome and then finally our potato stuffing pancake right on top of that perfect and then our final step here, of course, the gravy. 
So I put the gravy right on top of that and I doused it pretty good. And that's gonna keep it from drying out or anything like that. It's gonna taste phenomenal. I can smell everything already. That's it. It's all together. Let's go check it out. Hoo-wee! <laughs> I have not done that in a while, but hopefully this deserves it because man, I I I sat up at night thinking about how I'm gonna make this thing, and I think I did okay. We will see because I'm gonna test it out right now. I've never made this before. As you remember, I had the 7-Eleven thing, blah, 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 blah. So we are fast forwarding to this. Let me give you a quick close up. Turkey with the melted cheese and the potatoes slash stuffing pancake with the gravy on top. And of course that mayonnaise grilled bread, griddle bread. Oof. It looks delicious. I cannot wait to dig in. I am gonna cut it in half uh, just because it is big. So right down the middle. Let's see what it looks like here. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Look at that. That looks ridiculous. We'll give you a quick close up of that as well. Now that <laughs> it looks delicious. Still nice and hot. Let's give it a taste. Mmm. 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 Wow. I don't know where to start. The crunchiness of the bread, the crunchiness of the potato slash stuffing mm, is delicious. But then the flavor of the turkey and the cheese and that gravy kicks in. Wow. That really tastes good. One more bite. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. See that bite, I got a lot more of the stuffing. The first bite, I got more of the mashed potatoes. This bite, I got more of the stuffing. And both of them tasted awesome. Man, that is so good. I tried to make this easy as possible, and it was, because I had all the leftovers except for the bread. Um, but let me tell you, I put in my favorites, the basics. You can go crazy, because there's obviously a lot of different side dishes you get with Thanksgiving, but I went with my core, what I think of Thanksgiving. Uh, if you like cranberries, you can always add in, uh, make like a cranberry aioli with the mayonnaise and cranberry. Uh, but I'm not a big cranberry fan, so I opted not to do that. Uh, but this came out absolutely amazing. I suggest you give it a shot. And uh, you should still have the leftovers, I'm thinking. So go for it. Let me know in the comments how yours turned out because this came out so much better than I was expecting, to be honest. I thought it was gonna be sloppy, messy, not good looking, but it came out really, really good. So everybody, thank you for watching, liking, subscribing, and commenting, and we'll keep on cooking. Big Cat out. Hey guys, before you head out, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Check out our new merchandise, as well as our new ebook, Griddling Favorites. Everybody, stay safe and have a great day.